Hello and welcome to the next part of the Let's Play. I have chosen Gohan for this battle, although you could also choose Krillin. Okay, so, story mode battle 6, Gohan vs. Raccoon. As you remember in story mode battle 2, Gohan vs. Nap can be quite tricky sometimes. Gohan vs. Raccoon is a major stumbling block for many new players to the game. There's a few reasons for this. Raccoon's got a lot of health. He's got a lot of strong moves. And in the anime, you'll remember that Raccoon also beats up Gohan quite quickly. So, to win this battle, you're going to have to be quite careful. And I'm going to just walk you through a few different ways of making sure you don't do too many mistakes. Raccoon tends to use quite strong attacks most of the time. That includes his eraser gun which is a beam attack which has a quite high accuracy. And then there's also the RFB attack which does quite a lot of damage and is a melee attack but has well fairly low accuracy. So, what you'll want to do is try and get rid of Raccoon's fighting ability by blocking his attacks. It'll probably take a few tries, but it's probably worthwhile. After Image is recommended because then you can dodge RFB easier. And the good thing about After Image is that it's quite a low cost attack. Raccoon's used a card called Faint, which increases his accuracy. This accuracy increase only works until the first attack, after which it doesn't count anymore. It's similar to lock-on, although lock-on is a bit more restrictive, because that only works for certain androids, whereas faint is a generic item card, so that works for everyone. They say that the best defense is a good offense, which is why I'm going to use the tail attack card to do some damage. Uzaru, Kapow. Okay, so that's done a fairly decent amount of damage. So, let's try and block. So, what can I tell you about Raccoon? Well, he's quite large, he's muscly. He's a humanoid guy, his hair is quite reddish, and he is the most flamboyant member of the Guinea Force. He strikes a lot of poses, although he generally acts a bit goofy. And Raccoon's name also rhymes with Doom, as most anime fans will remember. And Raccoon is the first Guinea member to appear on screen during the introduction routine. And he's also the one that's on the screen the longest because he fights against Vegeta, Gohan, and Krillin, and Goku. And he's also one of the most memorable in terms of dialogue. He's also one of the strongest Ginyu Force members, possibly second only to Captain Ginyu. Although he's a bit more limited in that he tends to use melee attacks quite a lot. Although he does use some beams. He uses more beams than Berta at least. I'm going to use a quick little continuous punch to do a bit of damage, which should weaken him up quite a bit. Raccoon's used a breath card. A breath card is similar to avoiding, although it just gets rid of the beam attack by Raccoon blowing on it. 
Interestingly, Boo also has the Breath card. Quite why Raccoon has the Breath Attack card, I will never know. Anyway, I'll use Capsule Cop's Fridge to increase my CC. And Raccoon's unleashing his RFB attack. Wham. And that's... Oh my god, that's killed me. I did not expect that. And here we have Freezer on the game over screen. Well, to save this... I'm going to show you what happens if you do win. So at this point I've cut ahead to a part where I do beat Raccoon. It took me quite a while and I died quite a few times, surprisingly. He does have an annoying habit to use that RFB attack every single chance he gets. And it's incredibly damaging. It can pretty much get rid of your entire life bar. And if you're wearing a guard item, it takes off most of your life bar. So either way, you're screwed. You're going to have to endure it or use Shockwave. Or try using lots of after image. Or just get lucky, or a combination of any of these. By the way, it probably won't be an easy fight. But it did take me a long time. And make sure you keep any healing items you've got handy. Thankfully, I've got Raccoon's health to such a low point that any kind of Sage attack will probably kill him, so... That's what I'm going to use. An interesting thing to note is Raccoon's name is the Japanese pronunciation of cream. Raccoon. So that's why he's called Raccoon. You'll notice a lot of Dragon Ball Z names are pun based names based on languages and fruits and vegetables. And I win. So let's see what cards there are. So here's the breath card that Raccoon uses to block attacks. Costs the same as avoiding, but can be used as a limit. So here's proof that Raccoon can use it, and also that Boo can use it as well. I think it looks a bit more like Boo than Raccoon, but anyway, that's what I'm saying. Oh, and here's Faint, which increases accuracy. And that's a card for everyone to use. So carrying on. Gohan's injured and Raccoon is incredibly strong and Raccoon manages to beat Gohan, Krillin and Vegeta. So what happens next? Well Goku comes and he gives the guys Sensu Beans including Vegeta. But everyone is worried because Goku, they don't know how strong Goku is and Goku's got to deal with all these annoying people. And Goku says he's going to take them all on by himself. And Vegeta's really interested in Goku because Goku's different now. Story Mode 7, Jace and Berta. So in the meantime, Raccoon gets beaten up by Goku in a single punch. Anyway, now they're gonna have to fight off they're gonna have to face off against the red and blue demons, Jace and Berta. And they're saying it's a real surprise that Goku wants to fight with them. Interestingly, at this point in the story mode, you can play in a tag team match. Probably no one's aware of this until they reach this point in the story, but you can actually have two on two battles, which is probably one of the main draws of this game. The only problem is, in story mode, there's only three times when this happens. So the only other time you'll find tag team battles is when you're playing in multiplayer mode. Or if you use a cheat code to unlock the other player. Anyway, I'm going to put Goku and Vegeta on this team. And we're going to face off against the red and blue demons. Stay tuned and keep watching for the next part of Legendary Super Warriors.